Good morning guys. Just dropped off both of the kids at school and I'm just getting ready over here with my coffee. And I just wanted to share what I do when the kids go to school, like what the routine is until they get home. So I already started my makeup and I used my glow primer from e.l.f. Don't know if it's enough though because my skin's feeling really dry today. I still have a lot of chores to do. I have some dishes that I have to clean. I have to water all my plants. I left my pumpkins out all night on accident and I'm afraid that they frosted because last night it was a little cold. So I'm going to go check on those too. I'm running out of Crime Junkie podcasts because I've listened to almost all of them. So if anyone has any suggestions for what to listen to for crime, let me know. Oh, that's a lot of blush. I by no means am an expert at makeup, clearly. Actually, while we're at it. I have been using this IT Cosmetics bronzer, but I think it's the wrong shade. Let me know if you guys have a different recommendation because this one I think is um just too dark for my skin. I think that's the problem. I'm not sure though. I think I'm gonna first check on my pumpkins. Like I said, it frosted last night because it was so cold, so I just don't want them to end up dying. And actually, I've been having like a huge problem with bugs in all of my plants. Like I've had to hang up all kinds of disgusting fly traps and I'm over it. So I'm waiting for when the weather regulates so that I can just stick all my plants outside and not have to deal with the constant like bugs trying to eat all the plants. Because um, I've been using an all natural pesticide but it stinks and the fact that it's in the house like I can't get rid of the smell very easy so I am ready for that to be done but it's literally like 62 degrees rainy cold today so like just not the greatest for plants <laughs> eyebrows may be just a tad fluffy today. I haven't trimmed my eyebrows because I can't find my eyebrow scissors so I've just been letting them like run wild but they may be just tad too big at this point. I'm a fluffy brow fan but I don't know that I'm this big of a fluffy brow fan. <laughs> no that looks okay. I am all finished. I don't do a lot of makeup on the daily because the kids keep me too busy and we don't really do anything during the school week that's it for that all right guys i'm gonna go check on the pumpkin plant mm -hmm. okay so let's see some of these vines are definitely dead i may have to come out here with like some pruning shears and cut those off but they're looking pretty green actually they don't look too bad okay so i went and checked on the pumpkins they look okay i think i showed you like the vines are a little bit brown i had to go back out with some shears and cut a few of them but they looked okay they're inside uh my living room right now i didn't really have any place to put them because i live in an apartment so it's not like there's a huge amount of space but the, the giant pumpkins are in the house so now I am just gonna do the dishes from last night because my kids came home late from their dads and I just wanted to hang out with them instead of deal with this. So since they're not home, now's a good time to do the dishes. Also happy Monday because when I'm filming this, it's Monday. So Also just wanted to share if you have a TJ Maxx near you I got this the other day it's so cute it has all of like the Disney World snacks my daughter actually pointed it out and was like mom you need that because we're going to Disney soon we're not by the way I'm planning a trip for 2025 so a long time away but she was like mom you need that for Disney because we went in December and I brought a mug with Disney World things on it last time we went so this is the one that she wants me to use next time okay so dishes are done i'm just
just gonna throw the dish pod in. And then I have to still empty the diaper bag that my dad brought home yesterday because like I said, I wanted to hang out with the kids before they went to bed when they got home. So I just have to empty that. I also have to clean up their playroom a little bit. Their playroom is not like trashed, but they did make a mess from when they came home last night. So I just wanted to clean up so that when they come home, I can just play with them. Also, I noticed how disgusting their play mat is planning on cleaning it, but I'm definitely going to because it's disgusting. Okay, so while the mat is drying in the living room, I am going to make my bed just so that I feel like I'm a little bit more put together. That usually helps me. So I am going to do that. Then I am going to hang up the few clothes that are over here next to my bed because I just can't stand it anymore. Okay, so bed is made and I just have to hang up all these clothes because I did laundry a while ago and got lazy and anything that was supposed to be hung up, I just kind of threw over here next to my bed. Look at how cute this little gymnastics outfit is. I'm so sad because my daughter's last day of gymnastics for the summer is this Wednesday and then we're taking the summer off. She has really bad sensory issues and the class right now uh, for summer camp is like 42 kids. So I figured we would skip it and go back in the fall, but she's not gonna get to wear these for a little bit. My son got a ridiculous amount of chalk on his little coat and if anyone knows how to get that out, let me know because I am so upset <laughs> that I couldn't get it out. I used like an all natural stain remover, which obviously did not work. <music> went and started the vacuum now that the mat was hanging up I was like this is a good time to start cleaning the playroom rug because once they're home obviously I can't do that now I'm just hanging up all the clothes in my very overcrowded closet that I'm gonna do a closet clean out of very very soon because I can barely fit anything anymore and right now it is I want to say 10 45 or so and it means I have about a half hour left I still have to take my plants out of the sun. If they get too much, they start browning like the leaves do. After that, I just have to make my son a snack before I go and pick him up because I pick him up at 1130 and they don't have lunch at school until noon. So he's going to be starving. Don't judge me. <laughs> All right, so that is done. Just taking my plants out of the sun. Like this one is called marmalade on toast. And it's actually a bush, but I can't plant it yet because it's just been too frosty. So putting that one up, also have to put the aloe back. If it gets too much sun, I notice that it just ends up getting really brown and dead. I've had this aloe literally for like five years at this point. It's doing amazing. Monstera, I usually leave until around noon because it needs a lot of sun. It's a tropical plant. A couple of videos ago, I included this in my Target haul and I'm going around right now spraying all the plants that need it. A lot of them were overwatered and ended up having a bug problem in the soil. And I said I would update you guys. It's doing okay. It's not the best. Like, there's definitely still bugs, but they are less. Really, this little basil has been the biggest victim of the bugs. The leaves were all turning black for the longest time. 
so it is 11 15 right now i have to pick him up at 11 30. luckily i only live five minutes from the school but i am just going to pack his snacks because he's going to be starving when he comes home <music> So here is what I packed him. I have some cheese puffs. They're the organic brand from Hannaford. I have some Slim Jims in there, raisins, apples, and for a treat, there's some gummies in the middle. Okay guys, so that is going to do it for the Monday morning routine. That is all that I usually get done on Monday mornings, but it helps me throughout the week because then I have less to do and I can hang out with my kids more. But I am five minutes late to go and pick up the little guys, so I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.